Whoa, what is this all about? The Eye Man. What are you all about? Oh, I remember this from the the earlier games. Uh, Elijah, 18 years old. His life will change forever with the arrival of a new patient at the Fernwood Creek Center. Ooh, okay. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Oh, I'm so excited. We haven't played one of these in so long. Oh my god. Is so uh the another one the other ones aren't like continuation, so I'm wondering if there's a new story or a continuation. Also, what is this? This is not what I was expecting the game to open up to. Um Okay. <clears throat> the mother lion keeps her cubs in the den for their protection while she patrols the area. She'll confront any animal she deems a threat to her offspring, often fiercely and risking her own life if it comes to it. Well, all right then. Channel one, what is this? Oh, Port Susan News. According to the latest information from the police, a neighbor found the missing boy early in the morning. A decade of uncertainty and pain ends with Oliver back in his parents' arms. Oh, so it is a continuation. Okay, awesome. Sick. Okay. It's a continuation of The Nanny was the last chapter we played. Detective Taylor. We're really pleased to have found the boy safe and sound. It gives us hope we'll find his sister, Tina, alive, too. Hmm. Okay. Channel 3. There's some good music in this game already. Oliver Darnell. Tina Darnell and Veronica Turner. That was the nanny that we played, I'm pretty sure. We played Oliver, too. A little bit. Oliver and his older sister Tina were kidnapped and dragged away into the woods that night while their parents were away. Yes, I'm doing the SpongeBob news anchor voice in case you're wondering. Their babysitter was also taken to the forest and brutally murdered. She probably tried to resist. I I would hope so. I would <laughs> you ever just be like, no. I don't want to resist. Please murder me. Both children have been missing for nearly 10 years. 10 years? My God, you're a completely different person at that point. That's got to be rough. All we want now is to find Tina so we can be a whole family again. Yikes. Channel 2. Rescue in the forest, 18 year old found. According to medical sources, the boy is weak, but in stale condition. A family spokesperson told the press that Oliver will be transferred to a psychiatric center for young people after his recovery. We hope to make his transition back to the real world much easier, the spokesperson said. <laughs> in other news, Back to football. Oh my god. <laughs> I was having way too much fun with that. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Pretty music. Midnight scenes. Oh, I'm so excited. They really seem to be like going crazy with this one. I hope this one's longer than the other ones. Because I am so excited. Also, I cannot, like, hide the mouse anywhere, so this will have to do. Sorry. Fernwood Creek Mental Health Center for the Youth. Oh, all right. Tell me, Elijah, how are you doing? 
Al. I'm all devastated by what happened yesterday. It's horrible. <laughs> okay. He dead. I hope the police finds the answers we're all looking for. But in the meanwhile, I'm very concerned about how all this may be affecting our patients' emotional states. Tell me, have you been able to sleep? Are you having any difficulty controlling your anxiety? Why don't you cut to the chase and ask me what you really want to know? What do you mean? I mean Oliver, of course. Oliver is a crow now. <laughs> you want to know if he had anything to do with what happened. What? That's not what I'm asking. I must admit, though, that I am worried about him. I want to make sure he receives the care he needs, but he won't talk to me yet. You're the only one he communicates to, so I could use some help with that. <sighs> what do you want to know? Why don't you tell me about your relationship with him? Uh, there's not much to tell, really. Hmm. You might remember he arrived during one of our sessions. At first, I didn't know anything about who he was or what had happened to him. Interesting. One week earlier, 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 earlier. <laughs> All right. This artwork is so nice. That's that's one thing that I've always uh, said about the developer. Octavia is their name. They make like some just some like really well done sprite art. It looks so good. Oh my. You watching him walk in? That's kind of weird. The new boy is here. Another forgotten soul with a family too busy to care for him. Tell me, how does this new arrival make you feel? Why would I care? I don't like change. Um, Why would I care? Just another person at a place that's already packed with people. Why would I care? He'll hate me. Like everyone else or that no one hates you there are plenty of nice people here i i know some of the kids here can be difficult is there something specific i should know huh everything is perfect and rosy excuse me yes Sure, no problem. I'll be there right away. Come with me to Dr. Green's office. We're going to meet your new mate. I can't contain my excitement. Hmm, this is interesting. Uh, oh wait, I forgot it's point to click. Yeah, or point and click, not point to click. Uh, Tom. Tom Crawford, 17 years old. His blonde hair shone like the sun, but everyone who touched it was condemned to eternal darkness. All right, we got us a modern uh, Edgar Allen here. Not now. Al is waiting for me in Dr. Green's office. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are like, they have a gym, a classroom. Oh, okay. Peter told Martin, every night my mother tucks me into bed and kisses me on the cheek. Weird thing is, she died last year. That is weird. You should probably call an exorcist <laughs> or something. Maybe go to therapy, Leo and John. And then Leo told John, this morning I found a picture on my phone of me in bed, but I live alone. What? How do you live alone yet also live here? Well, I guess you might live in a room by yourself. It's a cold winter afternoon in 1879. One of the nurses at the children's hospital lets three of her little patients out to play in the snow. 
Medical emergency troubles her so much that she completely forgets about them. Another nurse locks all the doors and windows in anticipation of the oncoming snowstorm. The next morning, they find the corpses of the three children they died, embracing, huddled on the other side of the door. The noise from the storm drowned out their cries and screams. Oh, okay, so this is just like from his imagination. Okay, I see. Uh, Thaddeus was a heavy sleeper until he discovered his daughter's ghost staring at him through the window. Interesting. Mailboxes. I don't think they delivered the mail yet. In picture? Father Michael, or Mikhail, uh, the founder of this place, posing with his prisoners. No, oh, don't be like that. I mean, I'm sure this place is... Uh, I, I don't know. I've never been to an institution, so I know some of them can be uh, shitholes and treat their patients like shit. So this might be one of them. This guy has more information on it than I do, so I'll take his word for it, I guess. Ad panel. Tap dancing classes? Intriguing. Indeed. Classrooms. Oh, wait. I was just here. Okay. Is this Dr. Green? It is Dr. Green. Dr. Eleanor Green, principal. It's here. Let's go. Oh, here you are. Mr. and Mrs. Darnell Oliver. This is Al Henderson. He'll supervise Oliver's therapy. Al is one of the best psychiatrists in the state. Oh, please sit down. It's a pleasure to meet you. And looks like Elijah, our little Stephen King, is also joining us. He's always carrying his notebook around, writing short horror stories. Just sketches, nothing serious. My stay here inspires me. Mm. <laughs> I could be a little cheeky. Uh, why not? My stay here inspires me. Oh, Elijah. Uh-oh. Hope you don't mind me taking a picture of you, son. Or of your son. It's a little tradition we have with newcomers. It symbolizes the start of their recovery. Elijah, do you mind? I'm terrible at taking pictures. Uh, I'm not going to be a little shit the whole time. My pleasure. My pleasure. This camera is amazing. Not like the shitty ones we use in the photography workshop. <laughs> Elijah and his sharp wit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I thought I was going to have to like take it from her or something. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my God. Uh, zoom. Zoom. Oh my God. Bla oh my God. My eardrums. Okay. Say Gouda. Uh huh. There we go. He looks done. Oliver just looks so done with everything. Perfect. We'll leave you a copy in your mailbox in a few days, Oliver. And now, are you ready to discover your new home? Elijah, sweetheart, why don't you give Oliver a tour around the premises while we finish the paperwork? Oh my god. Everything will be fine, dear. In a few weeks, you'll feel much better and can finally come home. We love you, son. Oh yeah. That's gotta feel. That's gotta feel bad. It's like you're you've been missing for so long and missing from your parents and the moment. You meet them again, they send you off to some facility. I could tell that Oliver was kind of different right away. What do you mean? He didn't say a word, just observed his surroundings very carefully. I also found him fidgety. In any case, I took my tour guide duty very seriously. And I praise the sinner every chance I got. 
I don't know if he was saying that in sarcasm or not. I imagine he was. Hi, as you heard, my name's Elijah, and I'm gonna be the one of your mates here. Kind of butchered that sentence. Come on, follow me. Okay, so I guess I just take him to everything. Oh, welcome to Fernwood Creek Mental Health Center for the youth. Yada yada yada. As you can see, it's one of those old school boys only places. To be honest. Uh, I mean, I don't know what. I mean, I imagine this is what Elijah's really thinking. This place stinks. It's like a dark whirlpool that sucks out your soul. But hey, if it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger, right? I've been here a couple months, courtesy of a panic disorder that gets uglier every passing day. What about you? Why are they locking you up here? Uh, okay, don't worry. Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Come on, I'll show you where everything is. Okay, ad panel. Let's see what this is all about. You'll find all the information about mandatory activities here. If you're like me, you'd rather just stay in bed than attending, but they won't let you. Uh, classrooms. Wait, main door? Will you say something different about the main door? You only open, or they only open the main door for special occasions. Hmm, why? Well, I guess they don't want people like trying to escape or something. But that would make it feel a lot less like a prison. Anyways. Joe Mighty Fingers Gonzalez will retire in a month. This place will crumble to dust without him. Father Mike, Michael, the founder of this place, posing with his prisoners. Okay. Uh, mailboxes. They'll put your mail in here after some scrutiny from the supervisors, of course. Miss Murphy. What the hell? I never saw this before. This is Miss Murphy, our mascot. Fancy centers have meadows with horses. Here, we have a stupid goose. <laughs> oh, what? Go back to your forest, Mowgli. <sighs> yeah, run, you idiot. You'll get used to it. That's not something you should say. Shall we continue the tour? That's definitely not something you should say to a new student. Oh yeah, them throwing rocks at you, you'll get used to it. Then I showed Oliver around the garden. Everyone was giving him suspicious looks. At the time, I didn't know his face was in the news. All this nonsense about Oliver and his connection to what's been going on, it spread since one minute. Or since minute one. Hmm. The garden is my favorite place. I can sit alone here and write for hours. We... Oliver? Where's he going now? I want to see what's going on over here with Oliver. Oliver? Uh, yes, this is our giant oak. Oh. Do you like trees? What? How, how did you do that? You, you just touched it and, and the birds went crazy. Don't tell me if you don't want to, but that was fucking weird okay don't do it again whoa okay so he's got like some kind of powers after our walk around the garden i showed him the cafeteria and the workshop class and we ended up in the bedroom area we had an unpleasant encounter there let me guess aiden and theo who else Hmm. 
These are our bedrooms. Oh shit. Here come those two. Hey, look! It's Mar Mary Shelley with her new girlfriend! You must be the new guy, right? The star of the moment! Welcome to Hotel of Fools. We were fortunate, though. Hayden just shook our hands politely and left. Yikes. Hey, new guy. Try not to spend too much time with Princess Ellie here, or you'll end up getting AIDS. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking douchebags. I hope you're the first ones that die. <laughs> Those assholes are Aiden and Theo. I wouldn't get too close if I were you, especially Aiden. He was involved in a violent hate group and spent some time in jail for beating up an African-American couple. Jesus Christ! Why is he not in, like, a prison then? The girl lost an eye. Holy shit! What? Uh, more about Aiden. I want to know more about this piece of shit. His father is running for governor. He's the center's biggest benefactor. It's campaign time, so he locked Aiden in here to avoid an untimely embarrassment. More about Theo. The other guy, Theo, is an enigma, but he's fucking scary. When his poor mother tried to escape from her abusive marriage, she was stabbed to death. Oh my god. By Theo himself, according to the police. They didn't find enough evidence against him to convict, though. He was nine years old. Shall we continue the tour? Oh my god. Room one, room three. Fair show him where the bathroom is. It's quite important. Yes, I would say. It's important to know where to go poop. Okay, the upper floor. So is the bathroom back over here? To WC. Here's the bathroom. Toilet, showers, you know, the usual stuff. I always shower at night when no one's here. It's not allowed, but the caretakers turn a blind eye. Well, Artorian's here. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me, uh, which bedroom were you assigned? Room 9? Come on, I'll show you the way. Yeah, we just went that way. Actually, it's way over. Oh, this is Logan's bedroom. Okay. Oh. I don't really care right now. Take me to room nine. Here it is. I'm in bedroom three. If you need anything, just. Oh. <sighs> What's that noise? It came from inside. Oh shit. Whoa. I'm fine. Just leave, please. I don't want anyone to see you. Whoa. Okay. Who in the hell was he talking to? This guy's gonna be quite an inspiration. Hmm. Okay. So, what happened the next day? Like every Monday, it started with the distribution of our weekly tasks. Like in Among Us. I'm sorry. I was assigned to Mrs. Murphy's care, which Aiden found especially funny. Oh, God. We're from Aiden. Oh, what a fucking dick. 
Enjoy wiping the goose's ass, dickhead. At least she's a girl, so we don't have to worry about you doing anything weird to her. Dude, fuck off. Asshole. Anyway, uh, it's time for Miss Murphy's walk. I should go get her. Jesus. Holy fuck. Whoa, what was that all about? That seemed a little crazy. Oh, God. Theo is a horror story of his own. He's a stuff of nightmares. Hello, Miss Murphy. I'm gonna use this on you. Don't panic, okay? <gasps> Good goose. Ready? Let's go breathe some fresh air, little one. Aw, pet goosey goo. Come along. You only open the main door for special occasions. Oh, okay. So am I supposed to go somewhere with this? Maybe I'm supposed to go back up here. I know, it's time to take Miss Murphy for a walk. Oh, okay. So I guess I have to go this way to the garden. I'll go to the dorms. Yeah, okay, to the garden. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Oh, no, the, there was a thing with them. I don't think I can go back in there. Here we are. A little slice of paradise. Huh? What a cutie. Fountain. You fancy a dip in the fountain? <gasps> yes! <gasps> ah, yes! Enjoy! Bring out your inner swan. Oh. Oh. Uh, oops. Oh, look at him! Oh my god! I love the swan. You had enough? Yeah, let's get you out of that. Don't want you in any sort of infection. That's funny though. Scribble. What's this? What is that audio? E and E? Just got an achievement. Love is in the air. <laughs> Good to see the dev is having fun with this. Ouch! Yeah, I don't know really what I was expecting walking up to a beehive. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Note? Showers. Oh. 4 p.m. Well, well, well. Hmm. Something's going on in the shower. Michael. Michael's older sister drowned in the lake. But she was back home in time to have tea with the family. Rock. I must examine the rock. Oh, God. Looks like someone's adding an extra to their meds. Mmm, the Mary Jane. The stanky danky kush. The wacky tabacky. Whatever you want to call it. Chocolate bar. Mm. Hazelnuts, my favorite. Eat it. Eat the chocolate bar. Gain its courage. Stan and Burton. Their hands intertwined. Only one would be left standing. Why would you say something like that? They seem happy. Been like to talk and talk until one night, his cat ate his tongue. The house was silent forevermore. Oh, shit. Something not good is going on over here. Whispers. Please, go. Leave me alone. Uh, hello? Are you praying? Whoa. Holy shit, that's cool. During my short walk with Miss Murphy, I found Oliver gawking at the garden's oak tree. 
Do you know why? Some idiot said they saw him making offerings to the tree, like a ritual thing. Others said he summoned all those damned ravens invading the garden. I think he just enjoys the contact with nature. I don't think that's it. I think he's possessed. Or is being followed by the spirit of whatever horrible thing was in the woods. You've grown fond of the tree, huh? It's very, very old. Tyrannosaurus probably used it as a butt scratcher. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, fine. I'll leave you to it. Weirdo. Oh, come on. Don't be mean. You don't know what he's been through. Dumpster. It smells <laughs> ex exotic. What? That's Grace singing. Since I was already in the garden, I took the opportunity to have a nice chat with Grace. Grace? She's a patient at the Watson Center. There's a drain pipe in the wall that connects both gardens, and we use it to talk from time to time. Oh, that's cool. Yes, how dare they let people of the opposite sex have any sort of interaction. Boys Nut House calling Girls Nut House. Hey, Grace, can you hear me? Elijah, how is everything? Uh, not too bad. No one dunked my head in the toilet today, so that's a plus. Glad to hear. And I made a new friend. You mean the duck. She's a goose! <laughs> I feel like you would like actually be so offended by that. And no, there's a new patient, Oliver. He's so shy and out of his element. I empathize with him, honestly. Is he handsome? Do you like him? Don't start with that. Besides, he probably prefers, you know, the types on your side of the wall. Got it. Hey, I uh, need to go. I'm late for the theater workshop. Well, enjoy. This is really cool. I'm enjoying uh, this really cool world that they're building in this. I'd like for them to go back to the other games too though, like the other midnight scenes. Huh? Am I going crazy or was this route not here before? It most definitely wasn't. I know nothing about trees, but I doubt they grow this fast. And also, they grow to a certain point and then stop. Pretty much is how it works. Hmm. Stupid ravens. Oh, shit. Whoa! Are they watching me? Quoth the raven. Nevermore! <laughs> That's awesome. I like this guy. Well, Miss Murphy, I hope you enjoyed your little walk. Hmm. Oh, I can see what these two are talking about. Could they still be friends after what happened? What, ha what do you mean what happened? Jose and Al. Cafeteria. Miss Murphy looks tired. I'd better take her to her corner. Oh, okay. Let's get your corner ready. All right, you gotta take that off. You need some fresh water, food, and I'll puff up your sleeping pillow too. Oh, what a nice guy. Food check. 
me just pee in your cup real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Water, check. All right, and we got fluff the pillow. Oh, look at you, so pretty. Sleeping pillow, popped up, check. Here you go. You're the best, you know. We're all cool in your eyes. In a bit, miss. Aw. So he does like her. He does like the goose. Because he said he called her stupid earlier. But he was just saying that to say it. And so it was time for dinner. I sat down with Eric. Like I always do. Eric is your closest friend here, isn't he? Yeah, uh, we get along really well. That night, though, he seemed kind of weird and touchy, and I don't think he likes Oliver at all. Could he perhaps be getting jealous? All patience. Dinner is ready. Or served. Enjoy your meal. Interesting. Hmm. Food cart. Spaghetti and meatballs? A salad? Or bacon and eggs? Farmhouse delicacies? Green Day salad? Spaghetti Little Italy? Um. Oh no. I like spaghetti, but it uh it gives me like acid reflux because of like the marinara sauce, but I really like, like I can eat spaghetti until I die, but like that's the one bad thing about it. Green Day salad, farmhouse delicacies. That salad looks actually pretty good. I'll take the salad. I'll get the salad. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's find a spot to sit. Uh, table. Okay, I guess this is Eric. Hey, Eric. Uh, may I? Sure. Where else would you sit? You hear this? What should I hear? My nose? Won't stop whistling. My brother broke my septum when I was six, and now it sounds like a flute when I have a dry nose. Aw. It's fucking annoying. I didn't know you had a brother. Why would you? You never ask about my life outside the center. I'm just someone you hang out with when you run out of options. And now it turns out that you do have other options. Very dangerous ones, I must say. Oh, I thought we were friends. What are you what are you talking about? The newbie? Don't you know who he is? He's the guy who got kidnapped with his sister near the lake when they were kids. Is he famous then? Oh, I remember that case. Oh, I remember that case. Wow. My parents turned our house into a fortress after that. The news said they found him in the forest two weeks ago. He had been missing for 10 years. But really? I had no idea. Poor Oliver. You need to be careful with him. That guy is a ticking time bomb. People with trauma like that end up being axe murderers. No exceptions. Oh, shut up. Look, speak of the devil. Uh, hey, Oliver, you can sit here with us if you want. Shush! Are you crazy? Oh. An apple and a handful of walnuts? That's all you're gonna eat? Here, take my salad. I'll go get another plate.
come on have this you know what they say <laughs> you know what they say happy tummy happy mind don't be shy i haven't even touched it oh Uh, 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 okay, sorry. I'll, I'll, uh, leave you alone. I was just trying to be nice. I think he's doing it to try and protect you. I don't know. What in the hell was that? Sheesh. That's freaky as hell. Of course, the rumor that Oliver caused the blackout was on the tip of everyone's tongue that night. Although Bertie told me you got scared when it happened. Maybe you believe those rumors after all. I'm an adult, rational person. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? How could Oliver do something like that? Black magic? <laughs> right. Let's keep going. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the night you had that bad anxiety attack in the bathroom, right? Yeah. That's why I don't like you to shower alone at night. Okay, mom. Hmm. All right, off we go. Here we go, Elijah. You can do it. Come on. I can't go one more day without showering. Oh, so he has like an. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, he has a panic disorder. I'm watching you. Interesting. Toilets. All right. Okay. I thought that was going to be a hiding spot for a second. And do you like what you see? <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Okay. All right. Let's get us a shower. Oh, shit. Oliver, you scared me. I see, you like to shower at night, too. It's way quieter, that's for sure. Wait. Whoa. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You forgot your shampoo bottle. Uh, okay, as you wish. Uh, does it matter which one I use? Oh! What the hell was that? Okay, it was just him leaving. That scared me. Alright, let's take us a shower. Let's take us a shower. Shower time! Yeah, that's that. Yeah, the beat that do do. I'm singing in the shop. Oh, 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 Excuse me. Oh, no. Hello. Is that you, Oliver? Oh, I can't go back that way. Oh, great. Something... Something is a-brewing. What? Whoa. Oh! That's freaky. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's freaky. That was... That was really well done. Oh! Oh, dude, no! Oh, that's scary. Oh, no. Poor Elijah, dude. 
Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm sure he passed out. Hey, kid, are you okay? I can't breathe. Hey, hey, calm down. Let's do this together, all right? You know the drill. Take a deep breath. Hold it for three seconds, then let it out. Just like that. Come on, let's do it. First, take a deep breath. Oh, whoa, hold um, breath. Nope. Remember the exercise. You need to take a deep breath, hold it for three seconds, and then breathe out. One more time. You can do it. Um, nope. Remember the exercise. You need to take a deep breath, hold it in for three seconds, and then breathe out. Okay. One more time. You can do it. Okay. Hold breath. Um, nope. Remember the exercise, and then breathe out. One more time. You can do it. Okay. Hang on. Release. Um, nope. How do I do it? One more time. You can do it. I'm holding. Um, nope. Remember the exercise. You need to take a deep breath, hold it for three seconds, and then breathe out. One more time. You can do it. I'm trying. How do I? How do I hold? Oh. Oh, through the nose? Okay. Okay. <gasps> Great. Now hold it. Um, nope. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it now. Okay. All right. Breathe. <gasps> hold breath. Now count to three. Count to three, three, perfect. And now breathe out. Okay, that was weird. See, you can breathe now. You're fine. I don't know if I would say you're fine, but uh, he's better. <laughs> he just saw something absolutely terrifying. Are you ready to talk about what happened that night in the bathroom? Possibly have scared you so much. I saw something. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something. There was someone else in the bathroom. I don't think they were from the center. What do you mean, an intruder? Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. We keep having these power outages. This place is falling to pieces. Even the security cameras aren't working properly. Great. There will be no evidence when I murder Aiden one day. Too soon to make jokes about murder, Elijah. Too soon. Anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt. What happened the next morning? Oh, I started the day with the most exciting activity. Today's mail day. No one ever writes me, but I should look in my mailbox anyway. Oh, like roots are growing all over the place. That's really cool. Window. Look at those roots. Joe must be using a badass fertilizer. Oh, great. Blood dripping off the mailbox. The hell happened here? It's Oliver's mailbox. It looks a little banged up. You're not gonna say anything about the blood. What's all this? They put all of Oliver's mail in my mailbox? I don't want to snoop, but it was in my space. So whoa. My dearest Oliver, I can't begin to express how happy I am that you're back home safe and sound. It's been rough here without you. Now I live with my aunt and uncle in Seattle at my uh, cystic fibrosis. Oh, as my cystic fibrosis hasn't killed me yet. I've missed you, man. Thomas. Oh, Thomas, I remember him. Oh, no. And here's the photo I took of Oliver on his first day. What the hell is that shadow behind him? It looks like that thing I saw in the bathroom. Okay, don't freak out. It's... It's surely a glitch. 
I don't know why I don't know this. Room five. Twenty dollars. Tempting. A letter from Michael's parents. I'm not gonna snoop. Whoa! These are the original 1982 zombie midnight cards. They must be worth a fortune today. Hmm. I'll put all of her stuff in his mailbox. Yikes. Whoa, what the hell? Hey, you. Be careful with those mailboxes. They're cursed. Cursed? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. Logan's a little upset. With good reason! I was delivering some letters in the newbie's mailbox this morning when suddenly the lights started blinking and I got three scratches in my hand out of nowhere. Oh man, it hurts so much. What's more likely that then an evil mailbox attacking you or that you got over medicated and did this to yourself i told you nothing happened until i touched the newbie's mailbox he has supernatural powers everybody knows for fuck's sake i'm leaving the ornithology workshop starts in three minutes Oh shit, is it that late? Whoever wrapped that bandage did a pretty shitty job, considering you're still dripping blood. As you can see, not even the mailboxes are immune to Oliver's dark arts. So it seems, what happened then? Then I found poor Joe struggling with the invading roots from the big oak, so I helped him. Joe, huh? Tell me what happened. Joe Mama? Ugh, this is horrible, horrible. Hey kid, come give old Joe a hand, will ya? Maintenance room. Look at this mess. All the equipment is smashed to pieces. The roots of that damn tree are growing at an unbelievable rate. Oh shit. I've never seen anything like it. Too many bizarre things are happening around here lately. What kind of things? Well, things. I smell something murky in the air since. Since the new boy came, right? Since the new boy came in, right? Did you notice it too? I have a nose for evil stuff. And that kid? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be telling you any of this. I don't want to scare you. Come on. We got a lot of work here. Are they... Are they seriously... Ex Is it really a good idea to be using a chainsaw? against a like fuse box power grid system okay put these roots in that wheelbarrow over there in the corner better bring the wheelbarrow here first detached wheel wheel axle is broken you're a clever kid you'll figure it out the hell do you mean Okay. Do you maybe have something that I can fix this with? Okay, so I can't leave here. Do you have something? Did you find a way to fix the wheelbarrow? I'm on it. Well, hang on. What? What? Okay. Okay. The wheel axle is broken. Wait. Hang on. Huh? Okay, what am I... Am I just supposed to pick up the roots then and bring them over here? Better bring the wheelbarrow here first. 
But now am I supposed to do that game? Did I miss something? Okay, um... Is there anything else I can touch? No, there isn't. Okay. I know I'm a clever kid. Oh, cabinet. How was I supposed to notice that? Come on. I can't unscrew it with my bare hands. Okay, maybe Joe has a tool. Excuse me, Joe Mama. I might have. Uh, do you have a screwdriver? I'm Joe, the maintenance wizard. Of course I have a screwdriver. Here. Thank you. You got a screwdriver. Very nice. Very epic. Sweet. I'll use the screwdriver to remove it. Yep. Brilliant thinking. Okay, screw out. You got a screw. Very epic. There we go. The screw can act as the wheel's axle. It fits perfectly. There we go. Good work, kid. I knew you'd make it. Yeah. Great way to make a child do labor. Unpaid labor at that. Great. Now be a sweetie and throw those roots in the dumpster out in the garden, will you? Really? Okay, ass. Uh, dumpster. There we go. I'll leave the wheelbarrow here. Joe will pick it up later. Oh my god, the roots really are getting big. They're everywhere. Thanks again for the help, kid. Now, uh, move away. I'm gonna leave this bastard all skin. Oh god, something bad's got Something bad about to happen to Joe. <laughs> oh. Oh no. So, let's focus on what happened that evening. Ugh, that evening. Dinner started well, but as you know, it ended in tragedy. To all our <laughs> dinner is <laughs> great. Sounds appetizing. Food cart. Let's see what we got on today's menu. Ooh, what should I get for dinner? Brooklyn style hot dog, chicken royale. Or little slices of heaven. Chicken Royale sounds pretty amazing. I'll get the chicken. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> uh, is that the dev doing those voices? If it is, that's really funny. <laughs> Ooh, Oliver. Hello. Oh, I guess he doesn't want me to sit with him. Damn it. Well, I'll sit over. <gasps> Hey, what's up? Uh, okay. Hey, thanks for joining me. I don't like eating alone. You like chicken, huh? Here, all yours. I'm not hungry. Oh, uh, walnut? Thanks. Hey, uh, Oliver? I need to ask you something. The other night, when we met in the showers, did you see or hear anything strange? I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something behind me. Like, a shadow. I, I, I can't describe it, but it was creepy. Did she? It 
Did she hurt you? Oh shit. Hey, hey wait! <sighs> Goodbye, weirdo. Well, well, well. Looks like Mogi likes you. Or Mowgli. Maybe because I'm the only one who pays him any attention. Too much attention, I'd say. I just want to help. Everyone here avoids him like a plague. Because he's fucking creepy. He walks around like a ghost, only muttering things to his invisible friend. And to think I sleep in the next room. He gives me the chills. Oh, fuck. Greetings. How kind of the center to set aside a table for oppressed minorities. Shouldn't you be selling drugs to little kids? And you waving your stupid colored flags? <laughs> what do you want, Aiden? I just came to warn you that poor Mrs. Murphy is not looking too fresh. A little birdie told me the poor thing is battling for her life right now. Honk honk. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? Did something happen to Miss Murphy? How would I know? She's your responsibility, not mine. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. What the hell was that? I have no idea. I'd better go check on Miss Murphy. Oh, dude, did they poison her or some shit? Oh, no! No! <gasps> Miss Murphy! No, what have they done to you? Oh, God, they pushed a pen into her mouth. They suffocated her. Oh, please, one little one. Breathe. Dude, that's messed up. Eli Elijah, what the hell happened here? He, he killed her. It was Aiden. Oh, fuck. My God, dude. I had nothing to do with this. He killed her. What? I'd never hurt Miss Murphy. My parents donated her to the center. She was my family monster. Quiet, both of you. I've heard enough. Animal abuse is a very serious offense that won't go unpunished. I'm very seriously considering your immediate expulsion from the center. You can't do that! This brat was the one responsible for the goose. Shut up, Aiden. This is bullshit! Why are you accusing me of this? My father will get your ass fired! Get out of my sight! And you too. I said all I had to say. Fucking murder! I'm gonna. Oh. This was just the beginning. You hear me? Get out of my way, meatball! Are you okay, mate? I can't talk. It hurts too much. <laughs> Come on, I'll take you to your room. Looks like Eric is always by your side, even in rough times. You mind if I ask if it's more than just a friendship? He probably likes us to be more than friends. 
how does that make you feel? Flattered, of course, but also cautious. I don't want to hurt him. This is really cool. Oh, there's a moving truck outside of my house. How awesome. I don't understand why Aiden is so obsessed with you. I mean, it's a dick to everyone, but killing Miss Murphy just to hurt you? Yeah, I'm his favorite target. Rumor that I like boys spread like wildfire ever since the moment I walked in. Aiden's not the only one who would like to see me dead for that, but he is the worst by far. I'm afraid one day he's going to hurt me real bad. I won't let him. I swear, if he touches you again, I'll break every bone in his body and throw his corpse in the lake. Uh, don't make me laugh. My stomach. Ouch. Sorry, sorry. It, it's so unfair that we can't be open about our feelings. I, I mean, I just want you to know that you can talk to me if you need to. Hey, hey, don't you know how to knock? Now isn't a good time. Elijah's sick. It's all right. Hey, Oliver, what's up? What do you want? To give him this? Fine, very kind of you. Now, let him rest, okay? We'll see him tomorrow, all right? Bye. Oh, what the hell is that? What's that? Oh no! A twig doll? This is creepy as fuck. I'd throw it away if I was you. Look at it. It's like something out of your horror stories. Hmm. It looked like a simple doll, but it was much more than that. When Aiden finally managed to murder Elijah, the twig doll turned into a giant beast. Hungry for revenge. It eviscerated Aiden and ate his rotten heart. The end. <laughs> Lovely. Too bad the bad guys always win in real life. Come lay down. And you should rest. What would you do without me? I thought I'd spend the next or the, uh, the night morning miss murphy I, I was exhausted slept like a log that was the fateful night right yeah the reason for all these therapy sessions and the double medication i knew something horrible had happened the moment i woke up oh shit whoa 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 hey 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 What's going on out there? Uh oh. What's going on? No idea. Looks like something happened in the garden. Oh shit. I'd better go see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss Murphy Alter. Rest in peace, Miss Murphy. I miss you so much. Oh, that's so sad. What's happening out here? What the hell? What's going on here? Oh God. Is it Joe? Oh, it's Joe. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh my god, it's Joe! Everyone inside, immediately! Lock yourselves in your rooms and do not come out until further notice. I said everyone in, now! Oh yeah. 
Yikes. That's all. I just stayed in my bedroom until the police arrived that afternoon. We didn't talk to anyone else that morning. Nope. Better lock myself in my room. Yeah, for real. Oh, shit. Oliver. Uh, did you know anything about what happened? Come on, I'm not stupid. I saw the true roots grab your arm the same way they grabbed Joe. So many horrible things have happened since you arrived. You have to tell me what's going on. Hey! What the hell? Is... Is the tree trying to get you? Oliver, please. Say something! What happened to Joe? Mama. <laughs> Mother killed him. Mother? What are you talking about? Are you sure you want to know? It's not pretty. Whatever it is, I can handle it. Just tell me. It all started 10 years ago in the forest across the lake. It was autumn. Follow me. Oh, this is cool. Backstory! I was eight years old. My sister Tina had just turned ten. My parents went on a work trip and left us with the babysitter. We convinced her to go play in the woods. But Mother, the ruler of the forest, murdered her so she could kidnap us. The ruler of the forest? She's a powerful spirit that roams the woods and controls everything that grows here, her dark arts. For some reason, she thought we belonged to her. Oh, is it gonna go to like her altar thing that was on the rocks? I remember that from the first game. Oh no, it's a cave. This was our home for 10 years. So you never left the forest? You were only a few miles from home. Whoa, what? Memory. This is so cool. Whoa. Oliver, wake up. I boiled more water for you. That's Tina, my sister. It's very cold here. You're burning up. This fever doesn't look good, Ollie. I have to take you to the hospital now. But we can't. She won't let us. If we don't escape today, you'll die. No. <coughs> if we try, Mother will kill us both. <coughs> I know, but what else can we do? I can't let you die here. You need real medicine, not just roots and hot water. What are you gonna do? 
We a distraction. Get ready. Here. Take care of little Tina. But I made her for you. She's your lucky charm. Please keep it. If I don't make it, little Tina will always be by your side, protecting you. I love you, Ollie. No, Dana, she'll kill you. Is that the twig doll you gave me? Oh, wow, this is awesome. Deeper into the cave we go. Whoa! Oh my god! This is so sick! Oh, what? What is that thing? This is so cool. <laughs> She's the heart of the forest. I call her mother. Tina liked to call her nanny because she'd hum a lullaby for us every night that our first nanny used to sing. That's creepy. She also protected us from the cold and fed us small animals. She took care of us in some way. I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't let Oliver die. You leave me no choice. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Run! Hang on, Oliver. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. Tina, no! Run. Don't let her catch you. Oh, dude. Oh my god. That was mother's last desperate move. The fire weakened her enough that I could escape. But now, it's coming back for me. That's messed up, dude. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, no. No. That's creepy. Okay, so it's... She, like, possessed Tina's body? Whoa. This is the place where they found you, isn't it? Yes. How is it possible that no one found you in that cave? The forest kept us hidden. Why didn't you try to escape from that thing before? We did once. 
as punishment. She threw us in a dark hole and kept us there for weeks. Tina broke her leg in the fall. She spent days crying in pain. Damn! We learned not to disobey her. Things got better from then on. She took care of us like a mother, more or less. Holy shit, dude. I'm... I'm so sorry, Oliver. I can't even imagine what you went through. Your sister wanted to protect you. It wasn't your fault that thing killed her. But I don't understand. Thank you for listening to my story. I know it's... Hard to believe. Yeah, it's completely nuts. But with all the weird shit that's been happening here, I'm ready to believe anything that sounds like an explanation. Unfortunately, you can't tell anyone else unless you want to end up under police suspicion. We need to keep it to ourselves. There's no other choice. So you just stayed in your bedroom, writing? Yep. And you didn't talk to anyone? Nope. Well then, I guess that brings us to the end of the story. I told you there wasn't much to tell. No, no. Thanks for telling me about your experience with Oliver. I feel like I know him a bit better now. Let me stress once again that I don't suspect him or any other patient. Let's just let the police do their job. Shall we continue our session tomorrow? I'll check my schedule. Hmm. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Not again. I, I can't breathe. Okay, calm down. Just breathe normal. Go away soon. Scare pipe. That's all. That's all. Whoa. A window. What the? Oliver? he doing now it's boring oh no oh no 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 what are you up to oliver Why are you risking enough defending you to al you'll get me in so much trouble lobby i didn't mean to click on the vending machine oh this is good shit can't let him see me Careful. Okay. So let me see. All right. He's gonna turn that way. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Oh, okay. The car is leaving. Won't have to worry about him anymore. Okay. To the garden, quick. So how the hell did Oliver manage to get out? The door of the garden is locked at night. Dr. Green probably keeps a key in her office. I should go take a look. Maybe he went out through his window. 
that would make the most sense considering there was a massive tree limb coming through it if someone catches me in here i'll get expelled for good uh what do we have here Ooh. Can't blame her. Hot and lusty club for singles. Dr. Green's life is much more exciting than I thought. Sick. I guess this solves the mystery of the red stains on Al's neck. Here it is. The garden door key. You got the garden door key. Can I take the flask with me too? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Oliver's mother? Is that you? Damn. This is great for my anxiety problems. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Alright. Let's get out of here. Or get go right into the heart of hell. Oh god. Damn it, Oliver! This is ridiculous! I know what you're coming through, but this is going to end badly for both of us. Puddles and more puddles. Oh my god. Oliver, what are you doing here? Come on, let's go back inside. Oliver? I think mother might be dead. I no longer feel her presence. What? How is that possible? She barely had any strength left after the fire. I think the effort of killing Joe was too much for her. But that's a good thing, isn't it? You're safe from her, at least. Uh, we all are. I don't think that's true. I guess. Too bad Joe had to die, but I'm glad you can put that nightmare behind you. Come on. Let's go back inside. We'll catch a cold. Mm, I don't think that's the end. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, no. Are you serious, Elijah? With him? I'm an idiot. Fucking idiot. Come on, lay down. You need rest. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What you and your sister went through is pretty fucked up. A true horror story. But you're alive. And that horrible creature is gone for good. Now, we just need to write a good sequel for you. Aww. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay. Whoa. 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 That was freaky.
Huh. Oh no. You did well telling us. On behalf of our cause, we thank you for your collaboration. You're a good soldier. Oh, what? All clear. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Who wrote this shit? Oh, no. I better get a sponge and clean it up before anyone sees it. What a bunch of assholes, dude. Night time once again. This is not gonna end well. There's no way. Saving. Some something's about to happen. Something big. Oh no. Here we go, Elijah. Shower time. Come on. Don't panic. Mother's dead, which means no more creepy creatures in the mirror. Yeah. Now they'll be in the toilet. I don't like this. I don't need to pee right now. Are you sure? You pissed on your leg last time. I'm just making sure. Being considerate and all that. What? What is this chair doing here? Oh shit. Oh dude, are they? Oh no, are they gonna try to hang him? Oh no! Hello, sugar. Thanks for joining the party. Aiden? And Eric? What the hell is this? We organized a therapy session for you. We're gonna be your psychiatrist tonight. I... Shall we begin then? Sit down, please. I said, sit down. Eric, please go get help. I... Please, guys, I, I think he gets the message. Let's leave him alone. Shut up, lard boy. Sit in this chair right now, or I swear to fucking God, I'll gouge your eyes out. Please. Now! Oh, no, dude. I knew from the day I saw your face that you'd end up turning this place into your own little private harem. So many victims for you to choose from. So many vulnerable kids to spread your sickness to. Don't know what you're talking about, please. This guy here told me you banged the weirdo last night. Is he lying? Maybe we should cut off his tongue. I just said I saw him walking into his bedroom holding hands. And that... They spent the night together. That's incriminating enough, don't you think? You sickos keep forcing your aberrant ways into our schools, institutions, declaring war on this country's values. But we aren't gonna make it easy for you. We are soldiers willing to get our hands dirty and we'll win in the end, tiny battle by tiny battle. 
You're fucking crazy. Do you know what this is? You can call it doctor. A few sparks and it will cure your... Uh, I don't even want to say it instantly. Oh my God, dude. I'm not going to lie. It's going to sting quite a bit. Oh my God. You're going to pay for this. Oh, don't be like that. We're doing this for your own good. You'll thank us later. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Elijah. I didn't know they would do any of this. Oh my God. Ready? Oh my, was that water? No! Dude! This is seriously fucked. Tina? What's wrong? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh. I hope he'd last a little longer. I used the lowest setting, I think. Dude, is he dead? Oh shit. Oh shit. You killed him! Murder! Stop crying, idiot! That thing can't kill you! You'll be fine! You probably had a fucking heart attack. Well, well. Look who's joining the party! What? What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. Don't understand. You shouldn't have done this. She's here. Oh, no. You guys are going to get it. A month later. Whoa. I'd like to thank you on behalf of the Fernwood Creek Center for the trust you placed in our professionals. Given last month's horrible events, most of our patients left us. Who can blame them? Oliver insisted on staying, right, honey? Every day I pray for those poor kids who were attacked in the bathroom. Aiden and Theo, right? What kind of monster could do something to two innocent kids? Yeah. Will they be okay? Well... We're working day and night to catch the intruder who committed those horrific crimes. But today... I'm here because of Tina. We still need to find her. Oliver, are you ready to come with me to the police station and give us more details about what happened in the forest? I guess. Goodbye, Oliver, and best of luck. Please don't be a stranger. We'll miss you. Oh, man. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the real world. Aww. Thanks for coming. This is Grace. She was one of our neighbors at Watson. Probably heard her sing through the garden pipe. Nice to finally meet you, Oliver. Elijah talks a lot about you. He says you're a great source of inspiration for his horror stories. 
I guess I am. Hope your new life is full of joy and promise. You don't deserve any less. Anyway, I'll leave you two to catch up. What's the police doing here? You just want to ask me about Tina. I'll be fine. I believe that Aiden and Theo's attack was a work of a random intruder. You'll hear their screams of nightmares. It was horrible. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh. I hope he lasted a little longer. Oh shit. Stop crying, idiot. That thing can't kill you. You'll be fine. Well, well, well. Look who's joining the party. What? What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. I don't understand. You, you shouldn't have done this. She's here. Oh, dude. What the fuck are you talking about, weirdo? Oh, this is about to go bad for you guys. Whoa. Oh my god. What the hell? No, please. Oh my god. Tina, no, stop. Don't kill him, please! Come on! Leave him! If you kill him, it will ruin everything! I have to go back to the woods and hide! Holy shit. Are you sure he's not dead? She just gouged out his eyeballs and smashed his head against like a ceramic floor. Are you okay? Can you talk? The shadow, I, I've seen it. It wasn't my imagination. I, I don't get it. That creature is, is Tina? I left her. She tries to protect me. And the people who matter to me. I'll tell you more later. We need to go now. Oh my god. Are they dead? I'm... I'm not sure. Jesus, look at the bruise on his stomach. Please don't hurt me. They tricked me. I didn't want them to hurt you. Shut up and go back to your room. You say a word about what you saw here. I, I, won't, I won't say anything. I promise. Good. Holy shit, dude. Never seen so much blood in my life. I shouldn't have hurt you. They made Tina angry. Is she still around? Yeah. I can still recognize my sister's stubbornness in that creature. I still have Tina's twig doll. Keep it. it. May bring you some good luck. I'm so glad to see you again. I miss you. Me too. May I ask you something? That girl, Grace, is she your... I mean, she and you... Oh, uh... No, no way! No, no, no. She... She's just a friend. That's all. Really. Okay. Hey, kid, are you coming? 
Here's my number. Call me sometime, okay? I will. You have to write the sequel for my life story, remember? I want a perfect ending. See you soon, Oliver. Oh, wow. Man, that was so awesome. Midnight scenes. Holy shit, dude. That was so good. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Um, really quickly. Yeah, Octavi Navarro. God, another banger from you, dude. What an absolutely awesome game. That was so damn cool. <laughs> Oliver's 20th birthday. Oh, whoa. That's scary. Okay. So, real quickly, I just want to sort of, like, give my thoughts on all of it. I thought it was really, really, like, the storytelling was really cool. And I'm, and I'm glad that they, uh, oh, wow, so this is, like, in the future. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's so cool. Aw. Aw. Baby Tina and Nanny Grace. Aw. Thank you, players, streamers, viewers, for your support. You're very welcome, dude. Thank you for making such awesome, like, immersive worlds that you can just get lost in. Midnight scenes from the woods. Oh, wow. Okay, so real quickly, I just want to say I love the storytelling. I like how it didn't hold back and it was and, and it like, I mean, it just went full, full balls to the wall with it, man. And just like it didn't hold back on anything like and you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't really need to address the elephant in the room, you know, uh, like homophobia and stuff like that. So uh it, it 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 was just like wow it, it was really well done like all of it i enjoyed it so much i i uh i loved it really great game um i cannot wait to see what more awesome games uh octavia makes i don't know if it's gonna be another midnight scenes but if it is i'm all for it but if not i'm totally interested in entirely new ip and seeing where uh they go with it where they're creative cr i mean like they have such a creative mind and that's just like the number one thing that i like look for in like a good video game is like creativity like how much of it is um like derived from other pieces of like pop culture and obviously this was like heavily inspired by blair witch just like the chapter before it, the nanny and if you haven't seen that chapter i would recommend go uh going back and watching that video i'll uh be sure to have the um entire midnight scenes series that i've played on my channel in the end part of this video but unfortunately that is going to do it for midnight scenes from the woods thank you guys all so much for watching the video if you liked it please consider liking coming and subscribing it really helps me out a ton and if you are already subscribed share the video with a friend it really helps me out a ton and also while you are down there subscribing be sure to click the notification bell so you are always notified of when i upload to my channel i try to upload just about every day for you guys but sometimes uh i get busy and so upload schedules can get inconsistent so apologies for that but i am all out of time so i will see all of you in the next video love ya